beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and guys, I thought for today, seeing how everything is still all kinds of cattywampus around us, that we would sit down and do a video I have never done before, because what better way to try and do a new video than when you don't even have a table sitting in front of you? I mean, I just, I can't think of a better day. So, today we're going to be diving into none other than my first ever BoxyCharm unboxing. This is something that has been so highly requested from you guys, like, it's crazy to me, and I don't know what it is about it. You guys can let me know down below. But for me, the reason that I've never done these, just so you guys know, isn't because I love ignoring you. It's because I always just thought like there's plenty of them out there. Nobody really wants to see my thoughts. Nobody wants to see my opinions. And then it finally culminated and I'm like, y'all, they want to see this. Like there's either 10 of you that are yelling really, really loud or all of you that are like, Paige, Paige, do the video. And don't get me wrong, okay? Either way, it doesn't matter to me. I don't care if there's 10 of you that are yelling or if there's a bunch of you that are just kind of like whisper yelling. Um, I'm just here for it. Like, I'm excited to do a little something different. But let's go ahead first and start talking about the subscription. Now, here's what I'm gonna say, all right? I am not a sponsored little baby right now. I do not work with them. This is all just my thoughts and opinions. So, I'm gonna give you my little spiel, but it's not gonna be the traditional, like, oh, this is what you get and the value and the all the blah, blah, blah. Like, no, this, <laughs> this isn't that kind of video. Your girl ain't got that kind of time. So, I'm just gonna give you guys some straight facts. Basically, in the traditional box right here, you get five full-size products and it retails for $21 a month. Now that price is only good through this box right here because according to their website it goes up to $25 a month starting for November's box. Now as far as the price increase and all of that the only thing that I can um, glean is that from this little leaflet that they sent me that uh, they're going to be increasing their boxy fee again starting the month of November for the basic box or you can upgrade to boxy charm premium which will be $35 and you will get obviously more value and blah 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 blah. Um, I'm already going to upgrade just because for me it's kind of like why not like let's see what's next let's see what's in store um, so I'm in it like I'm gonna check it out and you guys can let me know down below if you want to keep seeing these now from there let's just go ahead and start diving into the box guys because I'm bored I want to just apply some stuff and honestly that's the part that I always hate about the sponsored videos where it's like let's talk about how great they are let's talk about how amazing they are like no just talk about what's in here. So let's go ahead and let's scooch our little glasses up and uh, let's grab this first little guy right here because this appears to be a complexion option. This is from Touch and Soul and this is their pretty filtered glassy skin balm and it says that this is an ultra hydrating priming skin balm with a sensationally smooth texture that melts into your skin and creates the ultimate glow that lasts throughout the day. All right, I'm here for it. Um, let's go ahead and apply some. Hello, yes, please. All right, so first of all, packaging, 10 out of 10. I think this is adorable. I love this like nice little holographic little glassy moment on the top. And let's open her up. Oh, it smells good. It smells fresh. All right, I'm, I'm in it. I'm in it. Let's go ahead and apply a little. Oh, wow, she, she thick, girl. Okay, I did not expect that. For some reason, I thought this was going to be more of like a thinner kind of situation. I better apply it lightly because <laughs> your girl can get a little bit oily on a T-zone. I skin needed this, y'all. I didn't realize it. I think I was a little bit dry. Okay. My skin's so weird lately, girl. She's more moody than a teenager, honey. Okay, so she's all rubbed in, absorbed, and it feels really nice on the skin. It doesn't feel like overly hydrating, and it doesn't leave a film on the skin either. Like, I really love the way that it settles in, but you can definitely feel like there's, beneath the surface of your skin, there is like a little bit of like hydration heaviness, which I really like. Again, not on the surface of your skin to where it feels oily, just underneath. It feels nice. Now, how much is this? Hello, touch and soul. $32. $32? Girl, all right, you better. What am I, Cindy Crawford now? Holy cow, $32. I like that I just made fun of $32 and I just placed a Tatcha order yesterday. Oh, the hypocrisy. Now, real quick, I'm going to go ahead and apply some foundation and I'm going to be using the L'Oreal True Match in W2 Light Ivory. And I'm just going to work that all over the face with my Real Technique sponge. Oh, yeah, also, by the way, hi. <laughs> Forgot you were there for a second. Um, I'm also concealing and this is the Too Faced Born This Way concealer here in Swan. And I just got to open a fresh bottle of this guys is there anything better oh my god opening up a fresh bottle of concealer mm, it's just so good like I've repurchased this concealer so many times it's amazing and this is the part of these videos by the way the boxy charm videos where it's always a little bit weird because it's like hold on I have to apply 72 products before it's like time to move on <laughs> like oops <laughs> that's all right though we're just gonna take you guys on the journey with us all right there's no reason we can't have fun Come on now. Gas concealer. What's going on? Where? Don't know. Can't tell. Goodbye. All right. Now I'm going to take my JSC powder here and I am going to pack this under the eyes. 
just to try and really set that area. And I think while I'm at it, I'll go ahead and set the little Hulk line up there because y'all know she gets all kind of crazy this time of year. Woo, girl. And I think while I'm at it, I'll go ahead and set the rest of my T-zone and I'll really go ahead and bake these uh, smile lines right here. All right, now we're just creating the illusion that we actually have some brow hair with the Urban Decay Brow Endowed. I believe this is in the shade Neutral Nana. Well, hello, beautiful people. Editing page here. So let's have a little conversation about what is happening in this video. Mom, you're an evil human being. My mom's making fun of me right now. So I'm sitting here editing this video. And guys, I've literally ripped my headphones off 12 times because this is so obnoxious. So first things first, okay, I explained in yesterday's video that things are a little bit crazy with lighting and like I'm trying to figure it all out, right? And the majority of you super, actually all of you, super understanding, which is great. Well, right up until today's video happened. So things were going okay. Like I'm sure you've noticed the coloring's a little off. We're working through it. Things are happening. And what you are about to see it is so bad. <laughs> like the coloring for me, for whatever reason, I am the wrong color for about um, the rest of the video. And not only am I the wrong color, but you'll soon hear me talk about this foundation. And just spoiler alert for you, the foundation I'm pretty sure was no good. So not only am I the wrong color, but my blush is literally a strip of blood. Guys, just, just wait for it. Okay. Like it's, it's a really fun moment for all of us. So I just wanted to give you a little, a little bit of an interrupted moment, a little bit of a, uh, hey, brace yourselves. Things are about to get really rough in these woods. Just stick with me. Just enjoy the video. And you know, at the very least, just remember there's bloopers at the end. It's worth it. Just have a laugh. Enjoy your life. It's not that serious, but y'all know I'm sitting over here just stressing, honey. So enjoy the video. I just want to interrupt and let you guys know. I know I saw it. Dear God, did I see it? I tried to fix it and I couldn't. So here we are. Enjoy the video. Enjoy. That's right, Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer coming in hot. This is in the shade Sunkissed. I am just going to bronze it up. I originally moved you guys in, by the way, so that way you could see the eyeshadow. And then I realized how pasty I looked and I just couldn't live with myself. So we're gonna add bronzer, blush, and a couple other things. And then we're gonna dive back into the box. And then for blush, I grabbed this little guy right here out of my collection. This is the Alamar Cosmetics Blush, which was also from an old boxy charm. And I'm popping it on the cheeks. Oh my God, I love this freaking blush so much. It's so pretty. Guys, this was like a favorite of mine for so long. Wow, my color is way off right now. Ugh. All right, now my face is looking a little bit busted, crusty, and a little dry, so I'm gonna grab my Catrice Dewy Glow Spray here. Also, just so we all know it, guys, I'm pretty sure the foundation I'm wearing, um, it might be expired. <laughs> like, it's looking, it's looking a little bit more funky than I remember. Okay, I promise I'm done interrupting, but can somebody please tell me, why is my blush an actual freaking rectangle? Why? Why? I just, oh my god, I just need to understand, I just need somebody to help me understand. How? How does it actually, your blush should not have a corner. Ooh, what is happening? I can't even tell if it's the blush or if my face was just like red and raw because of the foundation. Because when I removed it, fun fact, my face was red and I can't even tell. Like, why does my blush have corners? That, that's my concern here. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I promise I'm done. I promise I'm done. But what? Oh, it just hurts. It just hurts. Ugh, it's painful. But it doesn't matter, guys, because we're finally moving on to another item out of the box here, and that would be the Dose of Colors palette. Now, I believe they sent out, I want to say, three different versions of this palette, and I have the Snow Angels palette, which do I already have this before I open this palette? Hold on one second. You'd think I did all of these things before I uh, sat down to film, but I didn't. So hold on. Let me make sure. Don't want to be wasteful. At least not any more wasteful than somebody that has this much makeup already is. So I did find my palette um, that I've already used, so I'm going to go ahead, save that one, keep it new, give it away to somebody but this is the snow angels palette the packaging is super super adorable and then these are the colors inside now as far as the quality of these goes i do remember working with these quite some time ago oh girl look at that color um because i did do full full videos on these back in the day if memory serves me right they had a i want to say like sassy was it Sassy Sienna's Blushing Berry, this one, and there might have been one more, I can't remember. But the color, the pigmentation on these is absolutely beautiful. Like, look at that, oh my god, yes. Now, out of those three palettes, though, this one is my least favorite of the color stories, just because, like, this, <laughs> I'm a neutral kind of lady, so this isn't really my jam. But the shades in here are super beautiful. They blend, they work, like, there's no issue as far as the um, shades themselves. But I will say, like, this little section of the palette right here, these three, girl, they are so beautiful. Um, I've used 
used them several, several times out of this palette. Now, as far as the info on these here, these are all five pan matte eyeshadow palettes. Again, no matter which one you receive, um, in a mixture of shades, and they retail for $32. Woo, girl child honey bunches. Okay, let's go ahead and get to applying. So first things first, I'm gonna prep my eyeballs with a little concealer. Yeah, just so you know, I know that we're kind of like up close right now, but uh, the more that I look at this foundation, the more I'm about 90% sure it is in fact expired. So keep that in mind while you're looking at my crusty face. Now, first things first, we're gonna be diving into this deep shade right in the center with the It Cosmetics Chic Eyeshadow Brush. And I'm going to take, tap this off, and I'm going to pack it all over the mobile lid because I really love this color and it's a really nice like all over the lid kind of diffused fall eyeshadow color. So I'm just going to take and pack that all over here. Oh yes, that is like look at that color. Oh my god, it's so good. I'm just going to lightly bring this color up into the crease just a little bit just to start the diffusing process. I'm just lightly kind of tapping it. Oh wow, that's pretty. I love this color so much. It's a really nice deep shade, but you can also really sheer it out and like work with it a bit. And then from there, we're gonna grab the Luxie 205 Tapered Blending Brush here, which I also think hails from an old boxy charm. And we are going to dive into, of course, the pink shade right next to it. And we are going to use that shade to lightly buff out the edges here. And this one I'm going to be taking and not only buffing out that dark shade that I just packed all over the lid, but I'm also going to be taking it and diffusing it up toward the brow bone a little. And you can tell that I lost a little bit of the depth on the actual mobile lid, and that's okay because we'll go back in and repat that in a second. But for right now, all I'm really worried about is just making sure that everything looks nice and blended and that we have a good seamless gradient. And then just go back in here and repack the lid a little bit. And again, I'm not packing it in a ton. I just want to make sure that you can see a nice amount of depth between the lid and the crease color because I feel like that's what really helps bring this look to life is really being able to see the like that good transition. Oh, that's beautiful. Yes, honey. And then lower lash line, I'm going to take a little bit of that dark color again and just run it up onto the lower lashes as close as I can get. And then underneath of that with that same Luxie brush I'm just gonna go into the lightest kind of brown shade there and I'm gonna use that to dust under the lower lash line to lightly blend out that purple. Oh girl, how cute are you? Yes, please, honey bunches. All right, now went ahead, got you guys good and zoomed out just so you can see. That is the finished eye look. Now, obviously it looks a little bit intense right now, but we're gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of the face. And I think to do that, we'll actually go ahead and dive right into the next BoxyCharm item, which is this little guy right here. This is the Steve Laroche Jelly Highlighter, and mine is in the shade Cotton Candy. All right, and then here she is swatched on my my hand. It's not overly blinding or anything like that. It has a very soft kind of champagne color finish to it. Like it reminds me a lot of the Stila Heavens Hue in the touch and in the way like the you can tell when I touch it like it leaves the divots. And I don't have any issue with like the uh, formula of it so to speak. I do sometimes have an issue with them as far as the way that they sit on my skin and emphasize my texture. So I'm just going to take a tiny bit here on my finger and I'm going to very gently apply it like this and this will just help reduce the um, emphasizing like of the texture and stuff like I was just talking about. Just in applying it, this is the most lackluster freaking highlight I have ever seen. Like there's literally like, okay, <laughs> this is the most natural, what is this even? Where's my, is this supposed to be a natural ass highlight? Hello? This jelly highlighter formula is bouncy, lightweight, blendable, water resistant, and so fun to use. Watch it glide on with ease using your favorite brush or simply dab it on with your finger for an effortless glow. How much? $26? No. I think instead I'm gonna go in with this little devil right here. This is from Hourglass and this is their ambient metallic strobe lighting palette. And I'm just gonna sweep through these two shades right here. Let's go ahead and actually glow the face. How about that? And mascara. I need to glow the face and mascara. I'll do both. All right, guys, we are back, and uh, my lips are looking a little naked. So let's go ahead and continue with this little lip liner out of the box. Out of the box. And this is in the shade 935 Dark Natural from the brand the Jean de Bleu. Go ahead and do a little swatch here. Um, all right, a nice little neutral color. We love that. It feels real hard. It's just like a regular wood pencil, but it has a really, like, eh. 
Okay, it's not awful. It's not the worst one I've ever used, but it's definitely not like ultra creamy. But let's go ahead here and apply some to my lips. But yeah, so if this is anything over like, I don't know, zero dollars, I'm all set. Thanks. I'll stick with my ColourPop lip liners. And from there, last but not least, let's move on to this gloss. And this is from Iconic London. And it is in the shade, dear God, hello. This is their lip plumping gloss in the shade Love Struck. And oh my God, could you make the print a little smaller, please? <laughs> what a cute look. Okay, so first impression. I like the fact that this isn't like a super tacky or like weird like constricting kind of gloss. It has a really nice lightweight feel on it. It does have a nice shine. It's not the most shine I've ever used. I would say it's more of like a slightly subdued gloss in that respect. And it's also claiming to be a plumping gloss, which I'm not really getting much of that. Like I feel the slightest, slightest tingle, but nothing crazy. Um, but I'm not mad at the gloss itself. Like I think for something from Iconic London to be in this box is really exciting. And then real quick, just so we can touch on those last two items here. It looks like the gloss from Iconic London is $26 and the lip liner is five, oh, it's five bucks. Okay, would I pay five dollars for it? No, like I still like my one from ColourPop better and those are only five or six dollars. But given that it's not like a high-end lip liner, I'm at least happy about that. But all right, you guys, this is the finished look. What do you think overall? Be sure to give me your thoughts down below. Um, let's go ahead and just kind of recap. Do I think that this box specifically was worth it? Um, I think that if you are are really into that dose of colors palette I think it would be worth it because for me out of everything that I tried I think the best items are the dose of colors palette and the uh, moisturizer that I used first I think that was a really cool cream and I'll definitely try it again um, even though I'm not so much on like the dry side of things I still think it's a really cool item to be in the box because anytime you can kind of experiment with really prepping your skin prior to makeup application I think that's really important but alright you guys that is it for this video let me know all of your thoughts down below what do you think of the products, the box, did you think it was worth it this month? And most importantly of all, do you want me to keep doing these videos? This is very, very important. I need you guys to weigh in. Guys, I'm talking pull out the big guns. I want to see thumbs up on this video. I want to hear comments down below. I want to know what your thoughts are on me continuing to do these every single month because I will totally sit down and do them, but I honestly just wasn't sure if you guys would ever want to see them. So let me know down below. What do you think? Thoughts, opinions, so on and so forth. Leave it in the comments. If you haven't done so yet, please be sure to subscribe and turn on your post notifications to this here YouTube channel. Because your girl uploads five videos a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. They go up every single day between 6 and 7 a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan. So be sure to check them out, subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and you guys, huh, that is it. So we close another video. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please do not forget to have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, wow. This foundation does not look good. Ooh, no, it doesn't. Also, am I a different color than the rest of my body? I can't tell, but I think I might be. So I'm just going to give you the thrill. The blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. blah, 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 blah. Okay, that was cute. <laughs> so I'm just going to give you my... <laughs> wow. So I'm just going to give you my facts. <laughs> what is wrong with me? My facts. It's cute. It's so, 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 so cute. And it says that this is an ultra highlighting. And apply the products and talk about if I like them, even if I don't.